Hey, this is Bremster, and I'm going to try some of the genuinely approachable Sudoku. Um, this is one that has had a solve recorded on the genuinely approachable Sudoku YouTube channel. There'll be a link to that below, but I'm going to give this a try. Um, and yeah, I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Um, let's give this a shot. Now, these lines are Dutch Whisper, which means adjacent digits on lines have to be at least, um, have a difference of at least four. Um, so for example, I can see on this five, these have to be one and nine, otherwise they'll be too close. This has to be a one or a nine. Um, so these are going to be one, two, three, four, and eight. Well, there's no four in there. There's no three there. I can't put eight next to seven. Um, hmm. Now, there's no, ooh, doo, doo, doo. now, hang on, two would be too close, no, two is okay, but I can't put four, oh, I can't put eight next to seven, and I can't put four next to six, this is the two, this is the three, that makes this the eight, this is now the four, four is too close to one, so this is the nine, and this is the one, now, in here, one, two, four, six, oh, one, two, six, and nine, now, I can't put 9 next to 8. I can't put 6 next to 8. So this is 1 or 2. 6 is in one of those two. 9 would be too close to 6. So I can't put 9 in there. This is the 9. 9 comes out of those. The 1 and the 2 have to get kept apart. This is the 6. This is not a 6. This is a 1 and a 2. Okay. Now, next to 4... I can't use one, two, three. They're all, I can't use one or two. They're too close. So four, five, seven is too close. So this is an eight or a nine, and therefore it's an eight. So what's this quadruple? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. One, two, six, and seven. Now, six is too close. One and two, this is the seven, um, because the others were too close to the three. This is one, two, six. The one and the two have to be kept apart. So these are one, two, or oh, the, the two down here makes that the one and that the two. These are three seven and eight, the seven and the eight have to get kept apart, so that's the three, and these are one, two, three, four, five, and nine, the four and the five have to get kept apart, so that's all resolved here, um, not sure how to resolve that, but what can I do down the bottom here, now the four has to be eight and nine, because I can't use one, two, and up seven is even still too, too close, so this eight makes this the nine, and this the eight, now one, three, have to be at least seven, so that's seven because I can't use eight and nine. This is now a triple, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, and the five and the six has to get kept apart, so that's all good. This five makes this the six and this the five. Um, six is, well, five is one and nine, so six, I can't use seven, eight, or nine. They're all too close, so I can only use one and two, I think, so these are one and two because three is too close. So this is the one and this is the two. Um, seven, I can't use one, two. I can't use eight, nine. So three is all that's, four is too close. So this is a three. This is a triple now. One, two, three, four, five, and nine. Four and five can't go together. So nine is there. Um, nine can't be next to the eight. So that's the nine. Five can't go next to eight. That's the four. That's the five. These are now a triple. One, two, three, four, eight, nine. The eight and nine have to get kept apart by the four. This is a triple. One, two, three, and seven. The two and the three have to get kept apart by the seven. Ooh, okay. So one five, six, the five and the six have to get kept apart by the one. How's this going to work? Wait a minute, five and six, five would be too close to either two or three. So this has to be the six, which means this is the two, this is the three. The two looks up making this the one and this the two. The six makes this the five, which makes this the four and this the five. The five is too close to the eight. So that's the nine and that's the eight, which makes that the seven and that the eight. Okay, so now these are triples. One, two, three, six, and nine. These are two, five, and eight. 
And these are one, four, and seven. How's this going to work? Do I need to do all of these triples? How's this going to work? I'm not sure how this is going to work. One, two, three, six, nine. Hang on, have I got the same thing? One, two, five, eight. And this is also one, four, seven. Hang on, how is this going to work? This is three, six, nine. This is two, five, eight. And this is one, four, seven. So there's a modularity thing going on here, and I don't know how to resolve it. Hang on, I, hang on, maybe I can resolve it here. Because the 6 and the 9 can't go together. If this is 9, this is 3. If this is... Hang on. This has to be 3, 9, because the 6 is too close to either of them. So this is 3, 9. This is the 6. The 6 is too close to the 8. This is now the 2, because the, it's too, the 6 is too close to either the 5 or the 8. The 2 is too close to... The, right, there you go. That's really clever. It was these elbows. The seven is now close to, too close to the six and the nine. That becomes the three. The three is too close to the two and the five. That becomes the eight, and the eight comes out of there. The eight is too close to the seven. Right, but here, the four is too close to the one. The four is too close to the seven. This is one seven. So this is the four. The four is too close to the two and the five. This becomes the eight, and the eight comes out of those. The eight is too close to the six and the nine. The three comes out of those. The three is too close to the four and the one. That becomes the seven. The seven comes out of here. Seven is too close to five. So that's two, that's five. I'm getting there. 5 is too close to 6, so that's 9, that's 6. 5 is too close to 4, that's 1, that's 4. 4 is too close to 6, 9, 6. 6 is too close to 5, 2, 5. 2 is too close to 1, 7, 1. No, uh, 6 is too close to 4, 1, 4. 4 is too close to 5, 8, 5. 5 is too close to 3, 9 and 3. And that is the correct solution to the Dutch Whispers by Clover. Took me 7 minutes and 12 seconds. I'm not rushing for times. People can tell me what my times are. I don't mind. Um, that's not what I'm going for. That was really fun. I'm going to stop this one. I'm going to edit them together rather than try and do them as a rush. Okay, now for the next um, gas Sudoku from the 2nd of December 2023. So this is a corner edge Sudoku. I've never seen anything like this before. Clues outside uh, in cages outside the grid give digits that must appear in either the corner cells denoted by C or edge cells of the box. I don't understand what that means in the region it's connected to. E.g. A clue of E2 touching box 1 means that 2 must be found in either row 2, column 1, row 2, column 3, or row 3, column 2. Okay, so edge cells are these cells, and corner cells are these cells. I think that makes sense. And it couldn't be here. This would be an edge cell, except that's already got a digit in it. Okay, I think I follow. Um, I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So what it's telling me is there must be a 7 in one of the edge cells, but it can't be here or here. So 7 is in one of those two. Um, corner... Okay, so let's... I need to start with some Sudoku, I think. 1 and 5 are in corners, but 1 can't be there. So 1 is in one of those two, which is putting 1 in one of those two. 2 and 7 is in edges, but so 2 is in one of these two. 7 is in one of these three. I'm not sure I want to mark that yet. Um, 5 and 9. 5 is in one of those. So 5 is in one of those two. One is in an edge, right, one is right there, because one is in an edge cell, but this one is knocking it out of there. Corners get threes and sevens, so three is in one of those two, so three is in one of those two. Corners also get seven, so that's a seven. So seven now is also, seven is in one of those two. 
Now, five is in one of those. Uh, this is actually quite tricky. One is in one of those now. Three is in an edge. No, not sure. It's probably just basic Sudoku I am missing at this point. The mm. Approachable, you say. So four is in one of those two. So four is in one of those. Eight is right there. So eight is in one of those. So four and eight are in those. What's that doing for me? Hang on. Two is not in those or there. That's a two. So that's not a two. That's a two. Seven is in one of those two. So seven, oh. six is six is here because six is in a corner and that six sees that. So four is in an ah oh, four is there because four is in an edge. Right, I was missing it. Two is in one of those. So two is now in one of those. This is a one-two pair by Sudoku because two has to be in a corner and that one sees all of those. So this is now a triple. One, two, three, four, five, eight, nine. So this is five, eight, nine. So this is a quadruple. Two, three, six, seven. So this is two, three, seven. So this is a six. Because two couldn't go there, and three, seven were over here. That's interesting. So these are two, three, seven. So I can remove the corner marks. Remember, I'm not going for speed. Still have three up here. Three, in a corner, edge, one on edge. Right, I've got to put five and six on edges. So this is now a five, six pair. And I know the order because of the six in box nine. So this one is in one of those two, which means that's not a one, that's the one. One, two, three, four is in one of those two. Five, six, seven, eight and nine. Well, eight is in one of those two and nine is anywhere. Okay. This is very cool. Haven't understood it fully yet, but it's cool. Got to put three, oh, three on an edge. That's been there from the very beginning. So this is now a three, four pair. It's the same logic. So this is now a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. This isn't the six. This isn't a seven. So this is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, and eight. There's no four there. Five has to be in a corner. So that's an eight, and I can take eight out of those. That's not a seven. So that's the seven, which takes seven out of there. One and five are in corners. Well, that's not the one. That's the one because of the one, two looking up. So five is in one of those two. Yeah, very clever. Oh, the two looks down, making that the three. So there's no three in those. So which of these clues is done? Four on the edge, corners, two, six is done. Edge one, corner three, seven. The pencil mark is done. Five, nine on an edge is not done yet. Don't have anything about that. Eight on an edge here is not done. Edge two, seven is done. Edge two and corner four, eight is done. So it's basically 
these two that are not done, but it'll be Sudoku. Three is in one of those two. One, two, three, four, five, six is in one of those two. Ah, oh, this is a six, eight pair. So that's not the three. This is the three. This is the nine. That makes this the four and this the three. This is now, well, that's not the five because of the given five. I missed the invisible five. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four and nine. The four here looks up making that the nine and that the four. This is one, two, three, four, seven. There's no nine here. There's no eight there. That's five. Five comes out of those. This is a triple which doesn't include a seven. So that's the seven, but this is one, two, and six. Eight has to be on an edge, so it goes there. Which means that's the nine and that's the eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, which is resolved by the three in box five. One, two, three, four, five, and nine, and there's a five right there, so that's the nine and that's the five. That takes nine out of there, so nine is in one of those. There's no one here because of that. I'm getting there. I may be doing it slowly, but I'm getting there. This is a triple. One, two, three, four, eight, nine. There's no nine there, there's no four there, there's no eight there. So if this is four, eight, nine, these are one, two, three, four, five, two and six. So these are two and six. which means this is a one, this is not a one, which means this is not a one and this is a one. So that's not the five because the five already in the row, that's a five, this is a pair now. One, no, it's not. It's part of a triple including that, which is three, four, five, six, three, four and nine. So these are from three, four, nine. There's no four there. But 9 has to be on an edge. It can't be there. That's interesting, but not resolving anything yet. So 9 is in one of those two. Because it can't be there, and that's now a 5. Huh. Still haven't locked this in, have I? Still missing some Sudoku here. Still missing some very important Sudoku. Two in this column? No, I don't think so. Two, six, seven, and nine. So this is two or nine. This is two, six or nine. This is two, six or seven. No, that's not it. Where am I looking here? What am I missing? I think I've done all the clues outside the grid. So it is just Sudoku I'm missing. Three is in one of those two. Oh, that three is looking down. That's not the three. This is the three to go into the corner, which means that's not the three. This is the three, which means that's the nine. This is not the nine, which means that's the four. That's the eight. That's the nine. This is not the nine. That's a two, six pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is an eight. Which means these are one, two, five, and nine. Well, that's the five. This is a two, nine now. And it's a nine because there's already a two in the column. That's the two. That's the six. I take, well, that 
two six means that's a seven, that's a nine, that's a seven, that's a six. These are two and four, which is resolved, makes that the six, that the two. The seven here, of course, made that two and that seven ages ago. People have been yelling at me. Um, that's an eight, that's a six. The five made that a four, same thing. Invisible digits. Why are they invisible? Two made that one and that two. That means that's not the one. That's the one, which makes that the four. These are eight and nine, and I'll use that eight to make that the eight and that the nine. And that is the correct solution. 11 minutes, 43. I'm not quick. What a surprise. Next. Okay, next. The 3rd of December, 2023. World of Difference by Philip Newman. Um, these are difference dots. So cells separated by a white dot will have a difference of the digit in the dot. So um, a difference of five means that those digits will be specifically five different. A difference of two means that they will be a difference of specifically two. That's what we have. Uh, restarting the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So a difference of eight. The only two digits between one and nine that have a difference of eight are one and nine. This one makes this nine and this one. A difference of seven from one is eight. A difference of six from eight is two. A difference of five from two is seven. A difference of four from seven is three. And this is because you can't go the other direction. A difference of three from three is six. A difference of two from six is either four or eight. So all of a sudden, I start running out of options. A difference of one from four or eight. I, uh, mm, interesting. Um, so this is also one nine. And this nine means this is one and this is nine. Difference of seven from nine is two. A difference of six from two is eight. A difference of five from eight is three. A difference of four from three. I can't go down, so it's up to seven. A difference of three from seven is down to four. A difference of two from four is either... Uh, down to two or up to six. So now I have to start paying some attention. Now this could be parody at this point because this is either going to be three, five, seven or nine. Now, and this is going to be either one, three, five or seven. Now, huh, this is where things start getting tricky and I probably need to do some Sudoku maybe. Do I want to do some Sudoku? I don't want to do Sudoku. Philip, what are you doing to me? Now, a difference of three from nine would be six. A difference of three from seven, I couldn't go up, so it would be down to four. A difference of three from five could go down to two or up to eight. And a difference of three from three would have to go up to six. So this is even, which means this is even, because a two difference from an even is always even. So this is always even. So do I want to parody color this? Because, yeah, maybe I do, because this is now always odd. So it's 1, 3, 5, or 7, because it can't be 9. Yeah, I don't necessarily want to color it, but I could do parity, because this is odd. An odd, dig an odd digit away from odd is 2, 4, 6, 8. This is even from even, so 2, 4, 6, 8. It can't be 6. And this is, therefore, 3, 5, 7, or 9. But this is all working. So there's a trick here I've missed. There is a trick here I have missed. It's probably in here. So these are four apart. Now there's no one. So they could be two six. But if they were two six, these would be four eight and that would be broken. So there's no two on this. This can't be even. Because if this is even, this is either two six or four eight and that would break this. So this is odd. So these are from three, five, seven, and the only ones that are far apart that are four apart are three and seven. So this is a three seven pair. That's very cool. Now if this is three, this is because this is an odd digit, this is going to be jumping up to six. Or if it's seven, it's jumping down to four. So this is a four or a six. And this stays even. Four would go down to two or up to six. Six would go down to four or up to eight. So this is even. This is now odd. So it's one or five. So this can't be eight. What What's going on? 
And the same is going to be true here. This is four apart. If it was even, these would be broken. Because if it was two six, this would be four eight, which is not two apart. And if it's four eight, this would be so these are odd, so they're from three five seven, and the only ones of those that are four apart, this is three seven. But how am I going to resolve this? There there Philip is a sneaky trick trickster. 3 would go up to 6. 7 would go down to 4. This stays even. 4 could go 2 or 6. 6 could go 4 or 8. But this... And this is therefore odd, which is 5 or 9. So this can't be 2. Hmm... What, 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 what? Do I want to parody color this? I kind of feel I do, because I'm not running for time here. Even, these are odd, that's odd, that's odd, these are odd, 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 odd. Those are odd. These are all even. That sees two, four, six, and eight. That's odd. There's a trick here. What is it? What is it? This is supposed to be genuinely approachable, so I'm missing something redonkulously simple. But anyone who knows me knows that that's what I do. Hang on, this, these are all, the, this, this sees 2, 4, 6, 8, and this sees 2, 4, 6, 8. These are all odd. So these are 1, 5, 9. So these are even. Which means this is 4, 6, and this is 4, 6. This is 1, 5, 9. I can't put... So 3 is in here. 7 is in here. That has to be important, doesn't it? Oh, this is just 6, because 6 can't be in there. This is just 4. Oh, come on, that had to do more than that. <laughs> Bramsters and Numpty, what? So four is in one of these two. Six is in one of these two. So that's not helping me much. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? There's got to be something about the math of these chains. Like, 7 would make that... There's still options. Like, if this is 9, this is 8, this is 6, this is 4. Oh, this can't be 4. 
So this can't be 2 anymore. But if this is 9, this is 8, this is forced then 4 to be 6, and this can't be 6 anymore because this would be 8. So this is not 9 anymore. This is not the way to solve this. At least it doesn't feel like it's the way to solve this. But this not being able to be 4... This doesn't feel like the right way to solve this. Genuinely breaking Bremster's brain. Eight would make this seven, would make this four, Four would make this five or three, which would make this four or six. No, I don't get it. Five is in one of those. The other two are even. What's the approachable thing I've missed? These are four, five, nine. Oh, where's nine in this box? That's the no And this is a one, which means, oh, crikey. Three away from four is seven. This is three. That takes four out of there. This is eight, which means this is... There's the approachable thing I've missed. Three away from seven is four, which means two away from four. This is not eight. So that's actually not done much there, but that's taken eight out of here. It's taken four out of here, two away from two or four. That's not eight anymore. Four would allow that to be two or six. So eh, not actually sure, but that's a two, six pair. So that is a four. One away from four is not seven or nine. It's three or five. There's no seven there. Now this is one away from, hmm, three away, three, well, one is not three away from two or six. If this is two, this is five. If this is six, this is three. This is not one. This is not seven. This is seven which is odd. This is not seven, not seven. I'm not doing very well at this. I am fully aware I am not doing well at this. This is now seven by Sudoku. Do I want to get rid of the coloring? I'm not sure. Because I'm still... Now, these are five and six. So these are two and three. So this is an eight. These are four and five. I'm still missing something. Oh, that nine made this eight, which makes this six which makes this three, which makes this seven. These are two, or well, four is in here. What are these? These are two, four, and five. That's not four. That's not two. That's a four, five pair. So this is a triple. One, seven, and nine. There's no seven in either of those. That's a seven. That's a nine. That's a one. I am going to get rid of the coloring. It's slowing me down. Not that I care about speed. Yeah, this one's been quite tricky. But fun. These are 5, 6, and 8. There's no 8 there. That's a 5, 6 pair. So these are 1, 3, and 9. There's no 9 there. There's no 1 there. There's no 3 there. Hmm...
I still don't know. There's something about this chain. If this is six, five, two, four, three. Well, these, what are these? Well, this is just a one, which means that's not a one. This is now a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are eight and nine, and I know the order, nine and eight. There's no one here anymore. So this is three, five, or nine, and it's not a nine. That three, five pair makes this the nine, takes nine out of those. Wow, this is weird. Philip does weird puzzles. And anyone who thinks that isn't a compliment isn't paying attention. So one, two, three, five, and six. There's no three there. There's no six there. So I've got a three, five, five pair. That's a six. One, two, four, five. There's no four there. So the two, five pair makes that four. This still isn't cracking it open, is not it? Is it? <laughs> wow! Genuinely breaking Brimster's brain. The one makes that nine, which makes that three, which makes that one. The three looks up making that five, which makes that three. Three is one away from two and three away from six. That makes this the six, which makes this the five. That's not a six, that's a six. That is not a six. The five makes that the eight, which makes that the five, which looks up making that the two, which looks across making that the five, which makes that the four, which makes that the two. That makes that the five and that the four. These are three, five, and eight. There is no eight there, so that's the eight. The five makes that the three. There was already a five in the column. Uh, this column is missing an eight. No, it's not an eight, it's a nine. The five makes that a three. These are one and two. Uh, I need to make that the one and that the five in order to make that the two and that the one, which then can make that the three and that the two. Hope I haven't made a mistake. The six already in the row makes that the five and that the six. I'm down to a single box. I have to put a two right there. The next digit I'm going to place is a four, which I'll put there because I want to. Um, five goes there. Six goes there. Uh, seven goes there. And eight goes there. And that is the correct solution. I'm getting slower. Maybe it's because I'm aging. Every puzzle I do, I'm a little bit older and a little bit slower. That's how aging works, right? Um, I'll move on to the next one. Okay, now we've got an equal... Okay, now we've got an equal Sudoku by Clover. Um, so, normal Sudoku rules. Digits do not repeat in cages. Within each cage, the sum of the odd digits equals the sum of the even digits. Cool. Okay, uh, restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Right, now, um, in this cage, we've got odd digits summing to 12. Well, I can't do that in a single even digit. So, we've got even digits summing to 12. Now, I can't use 6, 6, so I must use an 8, and it must be an 8 plus 4. 8 and 4 is the only way to do that. So that is a 4, 8 pair. The 8 down here makes this the 4 and this the 8. I've got two... This is... This is 8. If I was to use a single... If I was to add another odd digit, I would need a single even digit that summed to more than eight. That's not going to work. So these are two even digits summing to eight. I can't use a four because it would be four, four. I can't use an eight. So this is two, six. Um, this is this is actually very cool. I'm just not sure how I'm resolving it. Um, this is two, six. These have to sum to six. And so I can, Well, actually, I could use another odd digit, couldn't I? No, I couldn't, because if I used another odd digit, it would be 135. 135 is 9, and I can't use that, then I'm broken. So, yeah, it has to be 2. I can't use more than 2. If it's in a 4-cell cage, 2 odd digits is even, 3 odd digits is odd, and it wouldn't work. So if I've got 2 odd digits, it has to be 2 versus 2 to keep the parity correct. So they have to add to 6. So these become 2 and 4. The 2 makes this the 4, and this the 2, which makes this the 6, and this the 2. These 
Well, one, two, three, four, five, six. These are seven and eight. So this is seven, this is eight. Now, these sum to 14. So this is a six by definition, and this is a three. These are one, two, and four. But I need even digits in here. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. I can't have a single odd digit. So there has to be an odd digit in this cage. And if this was two, four, then they, these, the odd digits to sum to six. So there is a one in here. They have to sum to 10. So it's with either two, eight or four, six. And I can't put an eight in here. So this is six. This is one, four. This is two. This is very cool. Very, 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 very cool. Um, I possibly could have got this a different way, but that's the way I did it. Um, these are, well, I need two odd digits because these are two even. They have to sum to 14 because once again, if I have three even digits, the odd digits would have to sum to, I'd need a single odd digit summing to an even number and that's not going to work. So it's two odd digits summing to 14. Now, <clears throat> if I use a one, I'd need a 13. If I use a three, I'd need an 11. So five and nine works, but if I need a seven, I need another seven. So this is five, nine. The nine at the top makes this the five and this the nine. These, they need to, I need two odd digits summing to eight. One, seven works or three, five. Except I can't put five into either of them because that five sees that one and that five sees that one. So this is one, seven. These need to sum two odd digits summing to 12. Well, I can't use one. Three, nine would work. Five, seven would work. Mm. Okay, but here I need two odd digits summing to six, which is one, five, because once I use a seven or a nine, I've busted the total, and I can't use three, three. So this is one, five. So this is one, this is five. That makes this seven and this one. That's going to limit these, because these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three, and nine. And these are this, what's this? One, two, three, four, five, three, and seven. But these have to sum to 12. And if this is seven, this would have to be five. So this is three, this is nine. This is seven, this is three. These are one, two, three, four, and seven. There's no three or seven there. That's a four. Um, so what's this? One, two, three, four, five. One and five. But these sum to 12. So these need to sum to 12. And if this is a one, this would have to be an 11. So this is 5. This has to sum to 12. So this becomes 7. This becomes 3. This becomes 1. The 1 here makes this 4 and this 1. This is now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. These are 2, 3, 4. They're 2, 3, 4. That's 2, 3, 4. See that there? 2, 3, 4. Now here I need two odd digits and an even because two even and an odd, I'm breaking parity. So it's two odd and an even. The two odd have a minimum of four, so I can't put a two in here. I can't put a six in here, so it's a two, or well, it's an eight. I know the two odd digits sum to eight because of the two eights. So one, seven, or three, five. That's all that's possible. And it can't be three, five because of that. So this is one, seven, eight. Oh, of course, the one for that. So this was one, seven, eight. Uh, the one is not there. The eight is not in either of those two. That's the eight and that's the one and that's the seven by Sudoku. I got stuff by Sudoku. That's a seven. Um, let's look at these now. One, two, three, eight, and nine. Well, I'm not putting an eight in the cage. Actually, does it say that? Digits do not repeat in cages. It does say that. Very, very comfortable for me. The three makes this the nine and this the three. Um, mum, mum, mum. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. There's a six, seven there. So that becomes the five. The seven here makes this the six and this the seven. Uh, next, I'm going to look at this triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, and nine. 
Okay, so there's no two or three there. So that's the nine. I take the nine out of those. So the odd digits sum to 10. I can't add another odd digit. So these need to, well, I can't add another odd digit. So that's two, that is eight, which does work by Sudoku, which is good. That is three. I can take the three out of there. I can take the two out of there. Um, these sum to 12. I can't add another odd digit. These have to sum to 12. That is a four. That makes this the three. This is not a three. This row seems to be missing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is a nine. This is one, two, three, four, five, and six. And I'll use that five to make that the six and that the five. One, two, three, four, five. This is a six. These are one, two, and five. The one and the five here makes this the two. The one at the top makes that the five and that the one. Um, this column, one, two, three, and six. I think, so that's the six and that's the three because of that three. This column is missing two, four and five, six, seven, eight, nine, yep, two and five. I'll use that five to make that two and that five. The two makes that four and that two. This box is now just missing four and nine. I'll use that nine to make that the four and that the nine. And that is the correct solution. Probably not a super fast time, but I'm happy with it. One more puzzle to go. And then I'll be releasing my first gas video. I have done gas streams in the past, but this is my first gas video. Who knows if I'll keep doing them. I'll see how much work it is. Okay, time for me to record the final puzzle in the first video I'm doing of this. People will complain that I'm doing this, I'm sure, but this was a request. So anyway, Diagonal Serbian Frame Sudoku. I know nothing about this. I have never done a puzzle like this before. I don't even know what the rules mean. So let's have a look. So normal Sudoku rules, clues above and below the grid. So these are these ones up here, including the corners, give the sum of the third and fourth cells seen in the direction of the arrow. So what that would mean is this two clue is the sum of those cells, because this is one, two, three, four, those cells. Um, now, okay, clues to the left and the right of the grid give the sum of the second and third cell seen in the direction. So this five will be the sum of those two. The 15 will be the sum of those two, because if I move from the arrow, one, two, three, this is two and three, they're the second and third cells. That's all of them. I'm gonna restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. Now I saw right here, the third and the fourth cells have to sum to two, so they are both one. These now need to sum to four, but I can't use ones in either of them, so they're two. These now need to sum to six, and I can't use one or two, they are three. These now need to sum to eight, and I can't use one, two, three, they are four. These are now fives, so that's a really cool opening. Now, 18 in two cells has to be two nines. 16 without um, in two cells without using nines is two eights. 14 without using eights and nines, those are two sevens. 12 without it, using seven eights and nines is sixes, and five in two cells without using six seven eights and nines is fives. That's really cool. One two three four. These are five and six, and the six here makes this five and this six. Um, now I have a digit on this eight, so this is a three. I have a digit on this nine, so that is an eight. This is now a triple. One two three four five six seven and nine. Uh, okay, that. These can't be a six, so this is a six. Um, these are a seven, nine pair. So these are one, two, and four. There's no four in those because of the four in the middle of the grid. That is a four. Now, these have to sum to 11. So they're not one, 10. So they are two and nine with seven and one. These are a triple, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are a triple, which are one, two, three. Um, now, these two cells have to sum to 11. So that's the two, and the two comes out of those. These have to sum to nine. So I'm not putting a nine there. And if this is a three, this would have to be a six. So it's one and eight. The one makes that a three, and eight comes out of those. 12 is five plus seven. So this is nine. These two have to sum to 15 without a nine. So those are seven and eight. The eight makes that the seven and that the eight. These have to sum to five, and they can't be one, four, because I can't put one or four in either here. So these are two and three. This is a pair, one, two, three, four, five, six, three and six. Not sure how they're going to resolve, but I've done the 12, I've done the nine, I've done the 11, I've done the five, I've done the 15. I've done all the ones at the top and bottom. This has to be a five and I can't use a one. So this is a two, three, and I know the order because I've already got twos and threes in the columns. This has to be a 15. Not sure how that's going to work. It could be seven, eight, 
or it could be 9, 6. No, it can't be 9, 6. So this is 8, this is 7. <clears throat> I've done the 11. Oh, I've done the 8, I've done the 11, I've done the 9, I've done the 15, I've done the 5. All of the clues are done. I'm now just down to Sudoku. This is a triple. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 6, 8, 9. That's an 8 because there's already a 6, 9. I take 8 out of those. Um, oh, there's a 3, 6 pair. So that's the 9. That's the 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 9 go into there. There's no 4 in those. That's the 4. Not sure how to resolve the 5, 9 yet, but this is a pair. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There's a 7 there, so that's the 4 and that's the 7. This is a triple. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There's a 1 there already. There's a 2 and a 4, so that's the 1. I can take the 2. Oh, there's a 2 there. That's the 4. That's the 2. These columns, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 3 and 8 go into those. There's an 8 there, so that's the 3 and that's the 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 9 go into those. Nice. These are 1, 5 and 6. There's no 6 in those, so that's the 6. Uh, these, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2 and 7. There's a 2 there. 7 and 2. Uh, 1, 2. 2, 3, 1, and 4. So I'll use the 4 I've already got in row 1. Um, 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 um. Oh, this 3, of course, makes that 6 and that 3. I'm getting there. Slowly, surely, positively, maybe. 2 is right there. So what are these? I need to put a 1 in one of those. Eh? Need to put a three right there. Okay, this is now down to a quadruple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, four, five, nine. There's no four or nine there. There's no four in any of those. So that's the four. This is one, five, nine. Ah, oh, the six, of course, makes that the nine and that the six, which takes the nine out of there. This becomes the nine. Great. Now there's triples in these columns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, five, seven. There's no seven there, so that's the seven. The one makes that the five, which makes that the one, which makes that the five, which makes that the one, and that the five. Need to put a one in here, but it's not in any of those cells. One, two, three, four, five. Need to put a six, which isn't there. That's the six, seven. This is eight, nine. I'll use that eight to make that the nine and that the eight. The nine looks across making that the five and that the nine, nine. And that is the correct five, 14. Holy cow, that was quick. I'm sure it wasn't a, a super fast time by most people, but I'm pretty happy with that one. That was cool. Thank you, Bill. That was a lot of fun. So they're the first five I've recorded. Am I going to continue this series? I don't know, but I wanted to do something fun and someone had asked me to do this. So I did it. Um, I'm going to post this as a bonus video, whether this starts being a part of my regular routine, um, so it'll become part of my daily video, or whether I continue to do it as a bonus or something, I don't know. I have no plans whatsoever. This is my brain turned off. So, yeah, have fun. All of the details about where you can find... So below I'm going to post a link to the... Um, genuinely approachable Sudoku uh, channel, uh, YouTube channel, as well as to their web page, which is where you can find all of the gas leaks and all of the details about where they post all of their puzzles and everything. So I will post links to these puzzles, but if you are after any information about it, go to them. Don't I'm not the source of truth on this. I, they're not my puzzles. I'm not hosting it. It's got nothing to do with me. I'm just doing videos. The gas team is in charge of this completely, and you should go to their websites for all of the information. Um, it's theirs. It's their project, not mine. I'm just a guy who's solving it and putting it up on the internet, but it's their thing. So all of the links to their stuff, their channel, their pages, absolutely everything will be below. So um, reach out to them for anything. Um, if I can help in any way, I will. But um, yeah, please don't. I, I have nothing to do with this apart from a guy who is uh, solving some puzzles and sticking it on the internet. So thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed these ones. And as always, good luck with your solving.